There have been many who assumed that because I was referring to the detention camps as concentration camps, that I take a typically liberal viewpoint about immigration. I don't really. And I'll, I'll stop using the phrase concentration camps, since people automatically just route it right over to, oh, you're saying that, that uh, Trump is like, like Hitler, and I'm like, no, that's not what I'm saying. So, no, they're not concentration camps. They're certainly not death camps, and I never refer to them as death camps. But they are detention camps that have terrible conditions, and that really needs to be addressed. Having said that, our immigration problem really needs to be addressed. To me, people should expect to be deported if they come in through a, a, a part of the border that isn't a port of entry. You know, come in through all the, the official ports of entry. You know, if you're trying to seek asylum, come in through one of those. You know, but don't try to cross the border illegally. To me, people who, get, who cross over the border illegally should be just deported. Bye. Catch you later. Not held in detention camps for an indefinite, you know, period of time. You know. And I think also we should, you know, to take care of the, the some of the uh, problem of uh, people that are already here um, and deterrence for them would be to get after employers for for knowingly hiring undocumented workers. Of course, the problem that that leaves us with is that a lot of those immigrants would then, you know, illegal immigrants would then turn to crime. And then we'd be sort of making a self-fulfilling prophecy for uh, of sorts uh, where people try to claim that uh, uh, illegal immigrants, uh, you know, uh, are, are more often criminals have a criminal mindset, well, if we do that, then I guess that would be a self-fulfilling prophecy, right? Um, so maybe that part isn't that good of an idea. I just, I just know that putting a whole shit ton of resources trying to round up people who, are, who, have been, who have been, some who have been here for many, many years, maybe even decades, you know, trying to round that up, those people up just doesn't make that much sense. You know, if they've been here that long and they haven't been hurting anything, you know, someone who's been here, you know, 30 years or something. But I don't think they should be the focus. I think the focus should be people who are newly coming in. People who are coming in uh, illegally across places that are not ports of entry. That's how I feel about it. Um... And maybe that seems very harsh to some people, but I'm just like, we've, we, we've got to draw a line somewhere. And right now it's just the whole thing is murky and then they end up in detention camps with terrible treatment. You know, I don't think, I mean, a wall could slow things down a little bit, I suppose. But then what do you do with the people who f figure out a way over the wall? Do the detention camps thing again? Continue that uh, legacy? Now, I'm going to state this in this video, too. Um, I'm aware that uh, during the Obama administration, these, these same sort of detention camps were still... Um, they were going on then. And there were some people who were trying to whistleblow about some of that, but they weren't as overcrowded as what we've got now. They didn't have, uh, you know, they weren't lacking basic uh, hygiene products to be able to, and, you know, the ability to keep clean. You know, they, they weren't denied those kinds of things. Um, it was still awful, and it, we should have called out, the, called out, I mean, people sleeping on concrete with the aluminum blankets and the whole works. Yeah, we should have been calling it out then. But, it, you know, at least we're calling it out in general, okay? At least we're calling it out in general. But it it's kind of seems in some ways that Trump is taking the brunt of everything that has been in place for a while that's bad in this country. And if he continues any of it, uh, he's somehow really bad. And it's just like, well, 
how much do you expect him to change at once, you know? And if he just goes off and makes an, an, an instant decision about something without very much knowledge about it, just to try to take care of the problem, I don't know how good that would be either, right? But yeah, something needs to be done about our immigration problem. 